down they go around Dodger Stadium looking to find their rhythm. And you can see the American woman, Amy Hastings, out in front of the pack of the elite women, Tony. Along with another American who was a Nigerian, a Nigerian native, that's Mary Acor on the right in the sunglasses. She, and it's still the same women who's now on our screen. Amy Hastings, raining hard. Uh, Buzanesh Deba and Mari Debaba, the Ethiopian, right behind her. American, Ethiopia, Ethiopia. And they're running very solid, very smart, very even, and picking it up slowly. That's a better way to run what they call negative splits. Faster second half than first half. This could be interesting by the time we get to Santa Monica. Buzanesh Deba right on her backside, and that's okay. uh, the end of the road for Amy Hastings. Amari Dababa definitely wants to win this challenge, however, she's looking really good. She looked great at both fluid stations, both the elite athlete fluid station and got some water, looks really good. And first of all, two storylines right here. Amy Hastings is back in front. The women had a slower 4, 547, 21st mile, and she got right back in the hunt, not only in the hunt, but back in front. And actually, we have a development. Amari Dababa's falling off. And only Buzanish Deva is going with Amy. This is incredible. Uh, I, this is, you talk about a star is born on the right side. How would it be for a couple of rookies to win the marathon? Because they're both running really, I mean, he's running a spectacular time, but they're running good, solid times. But Amy Hastings is another star in the making, believe me. Yeah, now Buzanish Deva goes back out in front as Hastings, uh, there's more separation taking place there, huh, Julie? And there's second place finisher, the tearful Amy Hastings in somewhere right around two hours and 28 minutes, just what she expected, doubling her time from the Houston Half Marathon just six weeks ago. Hey, Amy, how did it feel for you? It was really painful. Really painful. Uh, yeah, the first 18 felt really good, uh, just great. And then um, like 19 and a half, it started hurting really bad is a different kind of pain than I felt before. So, but worked through it, so that was good. <laughs> what did you think? I mean, what did you think of the weather? Um, the weather, it was when it first started raining, it was just freezing cold, and uh, I got a little bit stiff, but overall, it turned out really nice, like it was cool. I like it better than the heat, so I was happy with that. Uh, yeah, it was, it was it may be sunny sometime in the future and I come back it would be nice, but this works. You're just getting soaked here. Are you surprised about this weather here? I mean, this isn't what you would expect for the LA Marathon. Well, I knew it was like snowing up in Mammoth, so I had a feeling, thank you. Um, I had a feeling it could be uh, really rainy here and um, that's, I'm okay with that. I like it, so I like the rain. You said you managed to work through at mile 19. What did you do to, to keep yourself going? Um, I started thinking just trying to run 85 second quarters and uh it was just like get through every quarter get to the next mile get just like trying to pick out landmarks um i came here last week and drove the first part of the course and ran the last part of the course and by the way thank you to everyone in la who helped me when i got lost during that time right. to get me back on course but um okay. yeah right. uh congratulations thank to you, you.